tee down below, and the Big Orange is massing at the north end of the football fields right now in a big game for the Big Orange and the Blue and Orange of Florida because the winner stays undefeated. Ninth-ranked Florida at the south end. Fifth-ranked Tennessee now coming out of the tunnel at the north end. You hear the enthusiasm building. You see cheerleaders from years past joining this year's cheerleaders because it is homecoming 1990. And as the crowd begins to roar and roar and roar to the deafening cheers of 95,000 fans, the volunteers coming out to the gate in orange and white. The crowd comes alive. The volunteers are ready. It's time, ladies and gentlemen. It's football time in Tennessee. After a week off, Tennessee returned home for a homecoming battle with unbeaten Florida. The Gators had to be chomping at the bit to get at the Volunteers. After all, the Big Orange had looked pretty susceptible to the pass in the Auburn game, and passing is what Steve Spurrier's Florida team does best. Emotion also appeared to be on the Gators' side. They had been put on probation only weeks before, so there would be no bowl game or SEC championship for Florida in 1990. The Tennessee game was a bowl game for the Gators. After a scoreless first quarter, Tennessee got on the board first as Greg Amsler scores from a yard out. On defense, the Big Orange was dominating Florida, and the Gators could manage only this Arden Krzyzewski field goal. But on the half's final play, the Gators had a chance to change the course of the game. Will White intercepted this Andy Kelly Hail Mary and appeared on his way for a go-ahead score. White got tangled with one of his own players and slid to the turf leaving Tennessee with a precarious 7-3 lead. Everyone was expecting Florida to explode, but Dale Carter and the Tennessee defense took care of that. Here's the kickoff coming downfield. Tennessee's going to take the ball at the 10. Back up to the 15, working to the 20. Sutter stepping to the 25, breaking to the 30. Outside to the 35 to the 40. To the 45 to the 50. Cutting to the far sideline, down to the 45 to the 4. 35-30. Yes, there a flag on the play. I don't see one. 15, 10, 5. Four, three, two, one, touchdown, Carter! Tennessee scores on a kickoff return by Dale Carter, and Tennessee explodes into a 13-3 advantage. What a run back by Dale Carter. That one will go in the hall of that field, John. That's a run of the year. What a run that one. He broke a couple of minutes. Beautiful move early on to find a little daylight, just broke some tackles, had to make people hit him. Great cut back to the middle of the field. What a run. After a great kickoff return of their own, Florida moved to the ball 38, where Sean Walker caused Eric Red to fumble and Jeremy Lincoln recover. From there, the ball pieced together a 62-yard drive that Tony Thompson finished off with his 13-yard run. 21-3 Big Orange, and it would get worse. On the ball's next possession, offensive coordinator Phil Fulmer reached deep into his playbook once again. Here's the reverse fake. A long, long pass downfield for Tennessee is going to be... Touchdown, Tennessee! It was thrown by Vaughn Reeves. It was received by Carl Pickett. And so Tennessee's Vaughn Reeves throws a touchdown pass as the Volunteers run the tight end around. And the pass to Pickens for 47 yards. An end around pass. We haven't seen that in a long time, John, but I love it. That they really suckered Florida with it, and they pulled it up and let it fly. And he just threw it as long and deep as he could and let the man run out there. The defense was satisfied with a 25-point lead, so they put some points of their own on the board. Reggie Ingram, forced into action at middle linebacker for the suspended Dodson, picked off this Brian Fox pass and rambled 22 yards to give Tennessee a 35-3 advantage. But there would be no let-up and no comebacks on this night. The magnificent Carter intercepted his second pass of the game and raced 31 yards to set up a Greg Burke field goal. Seconds later, Ingram pounced on this Florida fumble at the Gator 23, setting up the ball's final touchdown, which came on this Sterling Hinton run. On an electric night at Neyland Stadium, Tennessee's 45-3 win was a clear indication that the balls were legitimate. National championship contenders. They could beat a good team and had a strong defense. 
I think everybody had their mind that we want to go out and play our best ball game up to that point, and turned out and uh, put a, a probably our best game, ball game all season against Florida.